But do you agree with President Trump that preference should be given to Christian refugees? Well, uh, the reason I think he did that was because they were being more persecuted. Uh, those were the folks that were losing their heads. Those were the folks that were being drowned in cages. But certainly there were many Muslim refugees who were also persecuted, and there were also Muslim families who had members kidnapped and disappeared and had you know, lost their heads too. Uh, I, I'm, probably. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, but I do know that the Christians were. and. You know, that's one of our value systems. If a person needs to, for their life, for their family, if they need to escape the governmental unit or, or the country that they're in, uh, th that was one of the things that we, uh, we always did. So, so you do agree that preference should be given to Christian refugees? I, I believe that now, but you know, in 90 days or 120 days, that, uh, that could change, and I would expect it to change. How is that not discriminatory, with, with all due respect? It is. It is. So it you're is. okay. You're okay with that kind of discrimination. Sure. Why? Well, because we want a safe country. Uh, so uh, we, we don't want uh, the the vetting process. We hope will tell us what we can expect. What kind of action reaction that we can expect? Now, are, are we going to be a hundred percent? I would hope so. Uh, but I have my doubts about that. But in ninety or one hundred and twenty days, we'll see. You know, w when we're talking, you know, let's take a step back and talk about liberty and the God-given rights in our Constitution. Mm -hmm. Our founding fathers and the Republican Party have both said that these rights, while enshrined in the Constitution, are God-given. Mm -hmm. Do those rights have boundaries, and are they assigned to specific religions in this context? You well, know? if you look at almost uh, every action that's pointed at those God-given rights and the institution of governments to protect to protect people in the peaceful exercise of those rights it's for citizens of the united states Only it's for citizens of the united states now there is and will continue to be paths to citizenship in the united states whether it's refugees or whether it's legal immigrants and uh, then when they become citizens uh, certainly, when they're working toward their citizenship, they're granted, if you will, they're, they're granted those kind of protections by our society, and rightfully so. Uh, but I'd, I don't believe uh, if they would live under our Constitution uh, in their country and could prove that to us uh, and come to our country, fully understand uh, their responsibilities as a citizen of the United States, uh, then I think that would probably be a little different. But, uh, you know, it's not, I, I don't believe that it's too much to ask that for a person that's coming to the United States uh, to, whether it's as a refugee or a legal immigrant, and I want to emphasize legal because uh, a lot of the news that I'm seeing, especially in reaction, the quote unquote backlash to uh, uh, Trump's executive order, uh, he's talking about illegal immigrants, and he's talking about uh, refugees that we don't know about. Uh, we were told way back right after, uh, right after one of the California incidences, uh, I think we had 27 governors on the line with Comdi, with the FBI director, and with uh, Homeland Security folks. And we were told at that time that there was there was an 18 to 24 month vetting process that these folks uh, went through. And, uh, but in the same conversation, they said a lot of these countries where these folks are coming from, we don't have any record of them there. So how could they know? If, if they didn't know what that citizen was involved with, uh, that refugee was involved with in their own country, there's no records for that. Or in some cases, the records had been destroyed. Uh, by an insurgent group. So when they tell us, yeah, we've, we've vetted them all out, how, how did they do that? That's what we wanted to know. What's the nuts and bolts of that? But you've said that even after the administration, if, if the Trump administration comes back with a plan that they're comfortable with, you might not necessarily be comfortable with it. I would probably be more comfortable with it if we were included in the final product and the process. Will and you, we had certainty in that process. Will you ever be comfortable letting Syrian refugees into Idaho? Sure. Depending on the process. Sure.